Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. For decades, Michael Druiga has opened his wallet whenever the donation basket comes around at church, but the latest revelations of priests sexually abusing children brought him to the conclusion that he can no longer justify giving. Bryce Sokolowski helps small Catholic nonprofits and churches raise money, but he too supports the recent calls to withhold donations. And Georgine Sorensen has felt enough anger and just total sadness over the past few weeks that she's reconsidering her weekly offering at her parish. Across the US, Catholics once faithful with their financial support to their churches are searching for ways to respond to the constant sex abuse scandals that have tarnished the institution in which they believe, with back-to-back -back scandals in the past two months. The most recent came Tuesday when a grand jury report revealed that hundreds of Roman Catholic priests in Pennsylvania molested more than 1,000 children in six dioceses since the 1940s crimes that church leaders are accused of covering up. The report came two months after Pope Francis ordered disgraced ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick removed from public ministry amid allegations the 88-year-old retired Archbishop sexually abused a teenage altar boy and engaged in sexual misconduct with adult seminarians decades ago. Last month, Francis accepted McCarrick's resignation as Cardinal and ordered him to a life of prayer and penance. Some Catholics across the U.S. shaken by the latest revelations of priests sexually abusing children say they will stand behind the church while encouraging efforts to hold leaders accountable. August 19, the most recent whopper of a report from Pennsylvania, Druiga said, was enough to make him wonder where his money was going and whether it was being used to cover up abuses. In an organization that spans the whole world like the Catholic Church, you don't know where your money is going. And when you read about these priest abuse scandals it just raises that question to the highest power. What is this money going for, said Druiga, 63, who lives in Wilmette, Illinois. Sokolowski, an Austin, Texas, resident who founded CatholicFundraiser.net to provide advice to Catholic nonprofits and churches, said he's heard from many who are really sick and tired of hearing about priests abusing children.